Hi, my name is Dan Goldstein from Page One Solutions, and I'm proud to announce that today, Page One will be posting a video showing our ice bucket challenge for the ALS Association. I'm very proud that we're doing this. Uh, I have a personal experience with it. A good friend of mine from college, one of my roommates, his father actually had ALS, and I watched how it impacted his father and his family, and it definitely made an impression on me. So I'm very proud that at page one, we're going to be able to do the ice bucket challenge and make a donation as well. Did you know that ALS is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease? ALS attacks the nerve cells that controls voluntary movement. It makes it difficult to open a cereal box, kick your legs, or even swallow a drink of water. The initial symptoms of ALS include muscle cramps and tightness, muscle weakness that impacts the use of your arms and legs, difficulty chewing or swallowing, and some speech difficulties. When those nerves die, they stop communicating with their muscles and in some cases become unusable. This often means the patient is aware of what's going on but can't respond in ways that we're all used to. While ALS can strike anyone, most patients are between the ages of 40 and 70. About 90% of ALS cases are not inherited and cannot be linked to any gene risk factors. Did you know there's no test to diagnose ALS? Doctors look at the patient's symptoms and exclude other diseases that way to come upon the ALS diagnosis. Doctors have still not found a cure for ALS. However, there are some medications that can slow the progression of ALS and help patients live longer. The ALS Association continues to provide funding for research and for clinical trials and also testing that helps diagnose patients uh, with ALS. It also connects people with the disease with centers that can help them as well as their families. If you'd like more information about ALS and how you can help, visit ALSA.org. Go Go page one! <laughs>